What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to find the perimeter of compound shapes. So let's begin. All right, now it's time to get super spicy. Let's get to our red chili challenge. And what we should be able to see is this is harder because we don't have a few measurements here. So I'm missing this length where the question mark is, but I'm also missing this length and I'm missing this length just here. And if we look at this length, I've only been given the whole total, so I don't even know that length there. There's loads going on. Let's see how to tackle it. So first of all, we're gonna convert our units. Well, in this case, I see everything is in centimeters, so that's not necessary. So I can skip straight to stage two, which is find any missing lengths. Now for organization, I'm gonna label my lengths here. I'm gonna call this length A, and we'll call the opposite one B, this one C, and then this one down here as D. So we need to find four missing lengths here. How are we going to do it? Well, let's first tackle A. And we can see that A is going to be this line just here next to the question mark. So if we look next door, we can see we have this total from the top to the bottom of our shape of 17 centimeters. And then if we look next door to that, I can see I have part of that length as nine centimeters. So if we know that up to here, where I've drawn this circle is nine centimeters, but we want to find this top part here, I should know that if I get my 17 and I subtract nine, I'm gonna be left with eight. So therefore, this area here, where our first missing measurement needs to be eight centimeters. So A equals eight centimeters. So if A is eight centimeters, we can see the opposite will be the same because we've got this square at the top. So if A is eight, then actually B must equal eight as well. Now we have this really tricky little one, this C just here. Well, let's look opposite and we can see the opposite length is 20. We have all of this length just here as 20. So if we look opposite that length, I can see I have part of it as eight centimeters, but we also have another part here of seven centimeters. So what I need to do for C is get my 20, and I'm gonna subtract eight, and then I'm gonna subtract a seven. So 20 subtract eight would be 12, subtract another seven equals five centimeters. So C, even though it looks super small, is actually five centimeters. And all we're doing is we're looking opposite to see those missing lengths. And finally, D is an easy one. All we're doing is we can see this length here, look opposite, and we're actually given the entire measurement of nine centimeters. So D equals nine centimeters. Wow, there we go. That's all of stage two done. There was loads to do. Now we're ready to add all of our lengths. And this time what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw around my measurement, adding as I go. So I have seven, then I'm adding A, which is eight, so seven plus eight is 15. Then I'm plusing another eight at 23, then nine, so 32. Then adding 20, so 52. Now I'm coming up to D, which is another nine, so 52 plus nine is 61, plus C, which we said was five. So 61 plus five is 66 and then plus my B, which is eight, 66 plus eight is 74. So I think that this perimeter of this shape is 74 centimeters. Wow, what a challenging one. So now it's your turn, and this, I've got to say, is a real challenge. Can you work out the perimeter of this shape here? I'll take answers in millimeters or centimeters. Put your answers into the comments section and press pause on the video now. So take your time, good luck. And there we have it. That is how to find the perimeter of compound shapes. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel or heading over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more videos covering everything that you need to know about primary maths. But for now guys, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.